Chris Christodoulos, The Rain, formerly known as Purple, is one of my favorite tracks from Risk of Rain 2. I haven't heard this in game. Oh wait, maybe I have. The point is, I am endlessly fascinated by the choice of titles that Chris chooses. Obviously, it's an homage, and very clearly, it's a melodic homage to Prince's Purple Rain. However, do you know what Purple Rain even is? Prince felt the color purple symbolized the end of the world. To him, the song Purple Rain was about finding divine guidance during Armageddon. According to NME, he said when there's blood in the sky, red and blue equals purple. Purple rain pertains to the end of the world and being with the one you love and letting your faith, God, guide you through the purple rain. Prince would say the apocalyptic connotations of the color purple made it his favorite color. Of course, there's also another artist involved, Lisa Coleman, who created the song String Arrangements. Coleman said, that the two words in the title of the song symbolize different concepts. Coleman told People magazine, the song's title signifies a new beginning, purple, the sky at dawn, rain, the cleansing factor. All of this is very interesting in the context of a video game and what that could possibly symbolize. So let's check it out.
Oh God, I love it so much. The last half of this is identical to Purple Rain. In fact, I think that this is also in B flat major. The thing is, music in context aside, the lyrics to Purple Rain, I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. I only wanted one time to see you laughing. I only wanted to see you laughing in the Purple Rain. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. I only wanna see you laughing in the Purple Rain. So why? why? take a piece like Purple Rain and then turn it into the rain formerly known as Purple, which is obviously a play on the artist formerly known as Prince. And these are the questions that I always have with Chris Christodolo's music because of questions like that. Because where does that come from? That, that's like genius to me, right? Taking the lyrics, putting them aside, creating an instrumental track where the first half is a sort of explorative sound. Got this like jazz essence in here. The whole back half of the piece is honoring Purple Rain and honoring Prince. So we're taking like a genre that's R&B and soul and dance electronic, but really it's R&B and soul, putting it in the context of like a rearranged version for a video game about killing aliens and surviving or starting over from the very beginning. And so what is the perspective of this? I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. I only wanted one time to see you laughing. I only wanted to see you laughing in the purple rain. Dear God, it's beautiful. So there's obviously like a very tragic element to this. Perhaps the world that we're in, that's the questions that I'm asking you in the comments who have played a lot of Risk of Rain 2 and have know the lore. Spin your brain on this. Like this is a really interesting thing because the track is pretty emotional and pretty sad. And also it's a direct paraphrase of the original source material. It's so cool. Franz Liszt took opera overtures and turned them into piano movements, or the Rigoletto paraphrase, one of the most incredible pieces of music in the piano literature, is literally a quartet for freaking piano. So he takes the Rigoletto quartet, Bella figlia dell'amore, and then he turns it into music and for the piano. It's insane. So paraphrases are always super interesting to me and really exciting. Cause then you get to compare the source material and stuff. I guess my question to you is, what does this make you feel? Knowing the lore, if you know the lore of Risk of Rain 2, where's the connection for you with these lyrics? And can you connect the lyrics with the music outside of the original source material? As always, if you like this sort of stuff, there's lots of other uh, Risk of Rain stuff on the channel. And yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.